<laughs> Jensen, what's going on down there? Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You all right? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. Well, I think I'm gonna pick up the ammo first. I don't really need any of these. Uh, yeah, you got a little bit of the abridged version. What the fuck? Pep's energy pack? Let's see what that does. Uh, what the hell does this do? Uh, wait, wait, wait. No. You can't use this. Or combine it. What the hell does this do? Oh, uh, I think it's a, it's a ammunition for something. Alright, well, I'm just gonna drop it. Don't really think I need it, but just in case, I think I'll actually take it along. Maybe it sells for something good. Because I don't know what it is. That could be something important. Grenade, shotgun cartridges. I know there's a lot of shit here. Uh, painkillers, 10 mil, 10 mil. T Typhoon ammo. I got some mines. Okay, so I would have had enough to take him out with. But really, this the mines and shit would not have really helped in the end. He was a mean mother hubbard. And... I mean that in the meanest possible way because you know the living crap out of me. Stun gun. What, what would a stun gun do against him, honestly? Okay, I got another energy pack. Alright. We just double check here. So there's a crate here. Because there was a few situations where he would just. Yeah, woo, okay. Lots of shotguns. Frag grenade. EMP grenade. So if you do this completely like without any weapons, you can actually salvage a lot of shit here. But I did mostly by I guess just throwing all the all that crap at him. Oh, did, did I get my thing? Yes, I did. Another point into this. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, good. Uh, I probably should have gone back down. Uh, one second. We're gonna quick load. I didn't realize I had that with me. I can just carry all those grenades with me. Shit, I mean. Uh, like, I want to sell a lot of things, so. I didn't realize I had that extra point already. <sighs> Man. Boss is kind of annoying. I, I don't like bosses, basically. If it, if it, you know what? I, I there's very, it's very hard to pick complaints about this kind of a game. It's it's been nothing but great so far. If, but if I had to pick something, it is this game really didn't need bosses. All right. Well, now that I can just carry whatever the frick I want. Uh, I don't really need ammo. Ammo's not important. Neither is a concussion grenade. Uh, but I think frag grenades are. I think I want to carry those around actually. Except uh, they take up an entire inventory slot. Uh, let's see here. Shotgun cartridge is not important. Let's take mine template, which is apparently really big. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, nothing else I really want to get rid of here. Yeah, we're good. He just blew himself to hell. Alright, good to go. Good to go. Really need to find a place to sell crap though. I also need laser sights and all kinds of fancy add-ons. That's the most important sight. Uh, that's the most important uh, that item. Hopefully, I don't have to like go through three, three bosses at once. 
You defeated the last guy. He was not your greatest challenge. That would be me. And it takes like twice as many barrels. Wow. We're back here. Is that guy still here? Oh, here he is. Can I sell anything to him? Get that shit out my face before I shove it up your ass. Yo. <laughs> What's good, man? Might be a good. Uh, any ammo I can use? No. I'm good. Oh. Yo, some guy with a scope. I ain't gonna mess with them, boy. All right. Well, we're done here. You ready to get out of here, Jensen? Yes, I am. Yeah. Take us back to Seraph Industries. Oh, good. I can talk to that guy. Me. Strap in and hold on. Alright, let's get out of here. <sighs> wow. That was a eventful mission. Never doing that again. Or maybe it will. And, you know, the every other time after that it's going to be easier. Because then I'm just going to know how to beat him. It's still annoying. It's because it's that first time I just shot him so many times. That's what disappointed me. You just gotta throw gas barrels, explosive barrels, shoot them up a little bit. Yeah, those helicopters are really awesome. Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I'd love to, okay. Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of the Yeah, internment camp. Alright, let's go see what he's up to. We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro odds who might want to get a tagger, but the ones against them too. You're saying that My office is awesome. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Seraph created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Okay. Don't you have some investigating... What's my reward? Yeah, whatever. Cameras. Oh, wait, wait. I can break through this now. Hey, Jensen. Oh, will, will he care? I guess not. It's kind of far away, though. Very high rate, though. Alright. Yeah, it's not getting that. Access granted. All right, what's in here? Are you got another suspect in the. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, there's a door code. Uh, for what? Uh, the labs. 
Okay. Is that like a side mission or something? Huh. No, no, that would be, uh... Whispers of Security. Uh, sorry, so... That, whatever. You know, boss, I don't mind saying some of us are worried. Alright, let's go. You know? Whew. Let's go talk to the big boss. The big cheese. I, I After this, I really want to go and uh, sell all the crap I have to the guy. So I'll probably run out and do that before I start anything. The fuck? Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I confront him. My memories are none of your damn business, Taggart. Did I hit a nerve? Forgive me. It's my nature as a psychologist, I suppose, to want to ask the difficult questions. You see, I find that ignoring them doesn't make them go away. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Not just yet. You got a lot of balls coming here. After your followers attacked our plant. What makes you think you'd be welcome? They were not my followers, Mr. Jensen. The Humanity Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. Right. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You yourself seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be... complicated. But we must look beyond our personal interests if we are to see mankind survive the next century. We'll survive, all right. With or without your condolences. Damn straight. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropos independency. Rejection psychosis. Any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Okay. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age. Adam? No. But I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us... Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? 
What the hell I've happened to his arm? Since the beginning, <laughs> I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important, and he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Well, I guess I gotta ask him personally. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Let's see. Ah, and of course you're right. Uh, I'm gonna insist. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? Uh... I'm not questioning your leadership. Defend. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. What? Well, I never considered that. I'm sorry, son. I guess you have proved yourself today. I just wonder if you're being a bit paranoid here. Fixating on details that aren't critical? I mean, are you so shaken up by what happened six months ago by your failure to make a difference then that you can't roll with the punches anymore? Damn it, Adam! I brought you back in today because you have an immediate crisis to deal with. Questioning me about things that don't matter isn't going to bring Megan back. Uh. No, I don't want to back up. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. We were. She, she doesn't. I mean, Adam, you're missing the point. The data I streamed had nothing to do with Megan or her work. It was just a routine, fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions. The kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. Uh, mercenaries near. Okay, and. Uh, uh, I don't want to trust him. He seems like a dick. Oh, I would like go. nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. 
but trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. And it's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right, look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Okay, so that's what he did. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go back down. And I'm going to... Uh, what, what are my quests? Okay, well, I'll talk to him briefly. And then I'll go sell my stuff. I hope I can go out there and sell the stuff. I very, very hope very much. Ah, this is this looks really nice though. Game runs really smoothly too, unlike the first time because I was running it off the same drive like an idiot. Ah, here we go. And he's no longer here. Maybe this is the one that I have to. All right. Uh, you his par uh, parents are his birth parents. That surprised me. His, his mother was sterile. His dad carries no. Okay. Wow. Arthur Jensen. I backtraced. You done goofed now. Arthur relied on. Why he likes labs to pay for his wife's medication. Uh. So. Augmented team. Oh, I see. Anger management issues. I think a pissed off superior wanted Justin to... Justin on the force. Uh, huh. Interesting. Alright, let me go talk to the guy in the tech Athena lab. Athena tells me oh, you spoke there. to Sarif. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarif spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride, dogging. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. 
it. <laughs> so he may not have been doing that. He may have just been feeding him lies. So, you know, it's always good to know. Uh, let's go down the ele elevators. Oh yeah, I can jump really high. <laughs> That's funny. I love jumping high. All right. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap it up by uh, buying. I don't think uh, I don't think my my home apartment will have anything. Dude, I, I live in walking distance within work, but it's in like the worst neighborhood possible. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna look on my own just to see if something refreshed in the apartment. However, on screen I'll just uh, sell my crap and also buy one of those things to give me another augment. I'll probably start going into either cloaking or moving around silently, or that sprint one. No, actually, I'm going to do stealth ones first. I don't know if I want to go too much into the battery stuff, but I'd really like to have that uh, silencer on my weapon. Pretty certain I have to go somewhere over here. Yeah, here it is. Alright, let's just save it here in case they change their mind. What'll it be? My favorite guy. Alright, two millimeter machine pistol, we'll get rid of that. Sniper rifle, keep that for sure. Shotgun cell. Okay, combat rifle, sniper, ten millimeter. Sell those two, they're not worth that much. Neither is the mine. EMP, I'll get rid of. Frag grenade, I'll keep. Painkillers. Not worth too much. I'll sell one. Nuke software, the boost bar, and these things. Uh, I'll sell both of these. Okay, let's see what I can buy. Just a mine, really? See you soon. Look at that. But at least now I can go to the to the store over here and I can grab. I guess I guess it wouldn't refill, but you know, I guess I'll I'll should check anyways. Because I wasn't able to afford it. Uh, when I, when I bought all that sniper rifle and all that ammunition stuff. But I I at least have a consistent place where I can sell things now. Welcome Whenever I come back here, that is. Would you say the police were overly violent? Will you be purchased? Yes, I will be. No, not the ammo. Not that. Why do they sell ammo here? Okay, they just have Always one. Pleasure. Alrighty. And... Uh... Freaking, where is it? Oh, it does, doesn't even. Oh, yeah, there we go. I have two. Uh, let's see. Don't want that. I think I was going to invest into cloaking technology. Okay. And that's one, and that's one. I can easily do that. You can still hear me move. But I can also go into just making myself completely silent. But I think I said I was going to do cloaking. Smart vision. I can have a wall hack. A wall hack isn't necessary. Uh, that is definitely not necessary. I can I can do stealth without this. It'll be like a last resort kind of thing. Wow, that like cost two really. Like social crap. That I don't really need. As much as I like turrets and turning them against allies, no. And this is definitely no. And that no, I'm just looking into this. This one is kind of nice actually, but this one I have to invest into a bit. I, I don't really need it now though. Okay, that one no. Dermal armor. Eventually, probably I might. Aim stabilizer. Movement penalties. Okay, I don't have to care about that. This eventually. Reflex booster. No. Why, why two at once? Uh, I guess when they're standing together, but I don't need that. That I definitely don't need. Okay, and what's this one? Don't need it. And... Don't need it. Okay, let's go into cloaking. There we go. We got cloaking now. What button would that be? Now I'm invisible. The door kind of closed on me. But the thing is, that thing doesn't regenerate, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, more regeneration, because, yeah, I need that. That's like regeneration, man. I, I don't know if it'll even go up to two. I, I'm going to have to look that up. 
but having that will be extremely useful. I'll look that up uh, on my own time. Next praxis. Okay, I don't have a lot of money, but you know, I'm good. Okay, well, I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, so, see you guys later. Bye.